Hello and welcome to this video by Windows Review on Windows 7 Build 7048, a pre-release candidate build which is the next step in the development of Windows 7. While using a newer build of Windows 7 you may notice some changes. One change that you will notice is that when you hover over the start icon, or the sometimes referred as the start orb, you get a different effect to it. If we click it, to open up the start menu, which looks similar to as it did in the Windows 7 beta with the jump list on the start menu. You will also notice that when you hover over the shutdown button and the arrow, you have a different outline effect to make it more visible. Another thing that you will notice is that Windows Media Center has changed. So if we open Windows Media Center, I haven't opened this yet, by the way. Okay. Well, we have some new ways that you can integrate your Windows Media extenders with. Um, I will not show them right now. There are some other features. I haven't fully run over them yet. Let's get out of here. Okay. Next is that you may notice that Paint has a new icon, and also some icons inside of it are different. Like the application menu button, it's darker now. And if you've seen screenshots of Office 14, the next release of uh, Microsoft Office you will notice that it has a similar application button. It is not a circle anymore in Office, if you didn't know. Uh, you also see new copy and cut icons, so if we draw something, and we select it all, see the copy, new copy and cut icons, we copy it, now we have the new paste icon enabled, and also the rulers and guidelines in our checkboxes. Okay, do not see. Okay. Also, calculator has a new icon, but otherwise nothing else has changed in calculator. Sticky notes has a new icon. Even in Plus Explorer, but uh, sticky notes has a new icon. And on the jump list, you don't have a new note option in the as a task. I do not know if this will be staying that way. Okay. Um, you also have Internet Explorer appears as a final version here as when you view the information about Internet Explorer. Oops. View the information. You see that it does not say release candidate anywhere and that it's just Internet Explorer 8. Okay. Nothing much has changed since the release candidate version of, of the Internet Explorer 8. You can download that for your XP and or Vista system. Okay. Um, let's see. Also, when you click your user account name, instead of taking you to your library, it will take you to your account file where you can see your contacts, desktop download etc. as similar to it was on Vista. Also libraries have changed a little. You can not drag folder to create a new library. You have to go to the library screen and hit new library. Um, a control panel now has a new icon. If you've noticed down here, if you're wondering what this is, this is the control panel icon now. Control panel also has a jump list, so if I right click the control panel, I can see my recent uh, options that I've changed in the control panel. I can just click it and it will bring it up. Now that we're in the personalization area of the control panel, you can see that there are new backgrounds added for the release candidate. Uh, you have the United States, 
time in the United States. I'm sure other countries, depending on what country you are in, it will show that. Scenes. Nature was in the beta build. Landscapes were also, although there has been one added. Um, characters are new. Um, and the architecture. Okay. Other than that, your glass, your settings for glass color is the same as uh, screensavers, but you now have more sound schemes. Okay. Um, my default control panel is not pinned to the taskbar. I chose to do that. It is still in the start menu. So if we open the control panel, you may notice that the view all options icon um, option is gone down here. And it is moved to a little drop down list that says view by. Right now it's on category. You can change it to large icon or small icon. But I like the category view. Okay, what else do we have? The user account control has not, it's in this build, there is no prompt for changing the level yet, but it will be in the future build. So if we type UAC and we click change user account control settings, you will notice that the default and recommended level setting is in bold. Right now I keep it a notch lower because I do not want my desktop being dimmed. I need to click OK. And that's that. Um, you may also see that the feature that is actually very useful, Arrow Peak, is now integrated with the Alt Tab feature. So if we open up a couple of windows, window. Okay. And if we do the Alt Tab shortcut, if you do it fast, nothing happens as it did in previous versions. But if you stay on it for a second, then you are using it as an arrow peak feature. Okay. And you release and it changes. Also, when you hover over a thumbnail live preview, the hot track that you get when you hover over an icon stays on the icon. If you look at the Explorer icon right now. And uh, that is basically it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And please look for future videos as they are made very often. Thank you.